Using a camera to log your driving in the event of an accident is becoming increasingly popular, especially for bikers. Having camera footage of a non-fault accident can prove invaluable if you're a biker who has been hit by a car, for example. Now, we've previously taken a look at the Roadhawk HD, which is Roadhawk's flagship model, and it turned out to be a superb black box recording device for a car. This unit here is a smaller and more compact model, so it's perfect not only for cars but also for bikers. Welcome to IFTI's Tech Corner, where today we are taking a look at the Roadhawk 720. The Roadhawk 720 is almost like the younger brother of the superb Roadhawk HD in-car camera system. It's an entry-level 720p forward-facing camera designed for use in any vehicle or small enough to be used on a bike. The simple yet effective camera system has the ability to capture evidential grade video in the event of a road traffic accident. The Roadhawk 720 dash camera can be fitted to just about any motor vehicle or bike in less than 10 minutes. Once the camera receives power from the vehicle's accessory power socket, it turns on and starts recording both video and audio in a constant loop. Due to the size and cost of this system, it also makes a superb rear-facing camera when mounted in the rear window and used in conjunction with the Roadhawk HD forward-facing camera. The Roadhawk HD is Roadhawk's flagship model with extra features over this Roadhawk 720. Check out my review of the Roadhawk HD via the link at the end of this video, or for you mobile users, there'll be a link in the description. For now, let's get stuck in and see what comes within the Roadhawk 720 package. Now within the box, we have the camera itself here, and we have a nice long five meter power cable. Now we'll come to those in just a second. We also have in the box here an adhesive pad. Within the camera, we also have an eight gigabyte micro SD card. Bear in mind the full retail package will usually come with a user manual and a few extra accessories, like extra adhesive pads, for example. The black box camera is very small, measuring just 60 millimeters across and 30 millimeters in diameter. It's a really small, compact unit, meaning it's very easy to hide within your vehicle or on your bike. From images of the unit, I made the mistake of thinking it was a bullet type camera, but the actual lens is on this side here. So this mount attaches to the windscreen on this side and the rotating hinge lets us angle the camera in the correct direction. A really nice design. Now on the side of the unit, we have a pause and record button. Although the camera begins recording automatically as soon as the vehicle ignition is switched on, this button can be used to pause a recording and then to resume recording. Moving to the top, we have a sliding button here which turns the internal microphone on and off, with the actual microphone being just underneath the button here. Under this, we have a menu button, this yellow button here, along with back and forward buttons. The menu button toggles between play and record modes, while the back and forward buttons can be used to digitally zoom in and out, useful when setting up the camera, which we'll cover shortly. Finally, we have a reset button here, along with a couple of LEDs. The first lights green when playing back video via the yellow video cable attached to the power lead. The next lights red to indicate the unit is recording, and the final LED lights yellow to indicate audio is being captured. So in typical use, we should see both the red and yellow lights on to indicate the unit is recording both video and audio. Now the camera is designed to work automatically, so there's no power button as such. As soon as it receives power from an external power source, it will turn on and start recording. Once the power is removed, the camera will stop recording and turn off automatically. Finally, at the very bottom, we have the micro SD card slot. An 8GB micro SD card is supplied with the Roadhawk 720 camera that allows for around two hours of video on a loop. Once the SD card is full, the camera records over the earliest files and continues to record until the power to the camera is stopped. Because the camera records on a constant loop, it's not necessary to keep deleting your video files from the memory card. It is recommended though that you regularly format the SD card to keep it in a good condition. Now any class 6 or higher micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes can be used. The camera uses around 4 gigabytes per hour of video, so that's potentially 8 hours of video on a 32 gigabyte card before the camera begins to overwrite the oldest footage. Now taking a look at the cable here, at one end is your standard cigarette power adapter. The other end of the cable connects to the actual Roadhawk 720 camera itself, and this provides all the power the camera needs. As I said earlier, the unit powers on and off along with your vehicle ignition, so you can simply install and forget. Now this yellow video cable attached here is for connecting to a monitor. 
you can then use the menu buttons we just looked at on the camera itself to play back any video footage or to enter the setup menus to change settings on the camera itself. Other than connecting the video cable to a monitor, bearing in mind the camera also needs to be connected to the power source in your vehicle at the same time, there's no other way to enter the settings into the actual camera unit. This is probably more useful for those who have a monitor built into their dashboard or headrests for example, and for them it's an especially useful feature. On a side note, users are also able to purchase a compatible 7 inch monitor from Roadhawk themselves. It's not the cheapest solution, but it is guaranteed to work and you are able to mount this within your vehicle for playing back or viewing footage as and when need be. Bear in mind though that you can enter some basic date and time settings via an alternative method, so without having to actually connect to an external monitor at all, and the date and time is probably the main bit of information you want on your video anyway. To do this we can create a simple file on the micro SD card called timeset.txt and place the date and time within this format here. Give yourself an extra minute or two to get out to your vehicle and then insert the card and power the camera up and it will reset its date and time to the same as the time set file created, after which it will delete the file for you automatically. Pretty simple. Installing the camera into your vehicle is a quick and easy procedure. Simply mount your camera onto either your front or rear windscreen, depending on the footage you want to capture, using the adhesive pad supplied in the box. If you're mounting on the front it's best placed up behind the rear view mirror and in an area that's covered by the wiper blades so even when raining you're getting a good picture. If mounting the camera near the rear of your vehicle take a look in your boot. Some cars such as this Volkswagen Golf have a secondary cigarette lighter adapter located in the boot which will come in handy for your Roadhawk. Once installed the unit comes with no means of checking whether the recorded image is lined up the way you want it unless you have a monitor in your car to attach the yellow video cable to. So it's a good idea to either turn on your ignition to power the camera for a minute or just go for a short drive. Then remove your micro SD card and review some of the footage. This will give you a good idea of whether the camera is lined up correctly and you can then make any final small adjustments if need be. Although we can play back video using the yellow video cable connected to a monitor within your vehicle, those who do not have the luxury of a built-in monitor can still easily view recorded footage. The video files created by the Roadhawk 720 are in a standard format, so can be viewed on any computer. No software is required other than your standard video playing software already installed on your Mac or PC operating system. Simply remove the SD card from the camera, insert into the included micro SD card reader or an SD card adapter like I have here and then insert this into every port on your computer. As stated, the footage can be played on any media player, simply double click on the file and away you go. The footage itself is of a very good quality, bear in mind we only get the actual video footage here, no other additional data such as speed, GPS location or so on. For any of this data you'll need to go with the more expensive and impressive Roadhawk HD. Nevertheless, the recorded footage is of a high quality, the video is reasonably sharp and has good colour saturation. It's more than good enough to use as evidence in the event of an accident for example, as you can see everything with complete clarity. Most cameras struggle with low light footage and the Roadhawk 720 unfortunately falls within the same category, although street lighting and lighting from other vehicles does help somewhat. Nevertheless the quality does take a hit and being able to use such video as evidential footage is probably questionable. Achieving the best setup for the Roadhawk 720 does require some wiring, but it works pretty well just sticking it onto your windscreen and plugging into the lighter socket, even though it's not the neatest solution. Having to connect the camera directly to a monitor to change settings is an inconvenience for those who do not have a built-in dash screen, and I would have liked to have been given the ability to place more settings onto the file on the micro SD card itself, like we can do with the date and time as an option. Nevertheless, this still isn't a reason to disregard this great little camera. Once you're up and running, which literally takes minutes, the loop recording feature means you can leave it to do its thing and basically forget about it. This is critical, as you can be sure the one time you really needed to have it running is the one time you'd forgotten to set your camera to record. The camera recordings are of a higher quality and more than good enough to use as evidential footage should you need to. Those who like to record their journey or enthusiasts on a more spirited drive will also find the quality good enough for their needs. 
The Roadhawk 720 is a small compact unit which you are able to almost hide within your vehicle or on your bike, giving you that added peace of mind, all while recording some great quality footage at an overall reasonable price. Another great solution from Roadhawk. Please feel free to like this video, it really does help me out. Don't forget to subscribe though, as you'll automatically be entered into my 2013 monthly giveaway. Click the logo above for more details. See you soon on Ifti's Tech Corner.